In 2020, my mom passed away after a long battle with cancer. Hawaii was her first and last blue water experience. Her passing was the catalyst for our trip to Hawaii and her presence was felt in each crashing wave. Hawaii will forever hold a special place in our hearts. I've tried shooting this no less than 10 times. So, let's see how this goes. My mom was an incredibly special person. She was the hardest working person that I know, and at the very end, she continued to press forward because she didn't want to let her coworkers down. On top of her emails, participating in meetings, making the calls, she was incredible. She was also the best listener that I've ever known. We would call each other every single day on the way home from work without fail and just share about our days, about what was going on in our lives. And I think that's what I miss most is those moments driving home, just sharing life together. Even though we were hundreds of miles apart, she could listen and intuitively know what was going on in my heart. All that is left in her absence is huge. One of the last things she shared with me was that she didn't have many regrets in life, but one, that she worked so hard that the only time she got to see blue water was once, when she went to Hawaii, as the very end of her life. She challenged me, she said, Josh, you and Karen have opportunities to live completely differently than your dad and I. To have moments with your kids. Don't waste the moments. Don't wait to go see blue water. Don't wait to experience life. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about part two of our Hawaii series and today's awesome. It's our first day adventuring the island. If you didn't see our last video, it was our day one which is arriving and you should check it out. All right, so for our first day, we decided to head to the Green Sand Beach which is one of only four beaches in the world that have this unique quality which is you can find olive vine crystals in the sand which gives it the greenish color and it was probably Josh's favorite spot on the big island to catch waves. On our way out to the Green Sand Beaches, Karen's sister Anna had recommended that we stop at this awesome locally owned macadamia nut farm. And it was one of the coolest experiences we had as really a family. Fun. We were greeted by a pot bellied pig. What was his name again? Something with a P. I think it might be in the video. Penny? Penny. Pe Peggy? Peggy? I don't know. One of those. Peppa the pig maybe, I don't know. Uh, it was awesome. We had it such a blast. They had fresh locally grown mm. coffees, uh, macadamia has so many flavors. Don't forget Josh had a pepper that pretty much almost killed him. Yes, I lost my breath, it was so strong. And they had lemons the size of your head. There were so many cool things. I think one of my favorite parts though was the birds that they rescued. Mm -hmm. um, the lady gave us a back story on these parrots. Um, yeah, they were, one of them was picking their um, feathers because yeah. of stress and so they got a, a new toy. And it was just really sweet that they had like three or four rescue birds. It's probably one of my favorite things about Hawaiians and how much they care for the land and for the nature around them. So it's the owner and it's a guy who has a deep voice and he'll do his voice and he's like, Aloha! <laughs> 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 and then I'll be like, hello, hello! 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 Did be a hundred? Oh my goodness. I'll do it again, but I'm not. 
He just had a pepper from right here and just about cried. And his no, life his life me. flashed before his eyes. The acid no the you know how like um I don't know, I don't need spicy. Mm -hmm. You don't think you vomit if it's super hot? Babe, rough. you don't have to do it again. You don't have to do it again. Do it, take, take an orange one. I'm just a red one. That's fine, I'll do it. Oh my god. <laughs> that was super the reddest red. one. He off the pain. <laughs> 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 my eyes are watering. It's like. Matt, here you go. I don't know. That's like a, a habanero jalapeno times like three or four. What? You may think being from the Carolinas that we have a lot of experience off-roading. We do not. And this was our first off-roading experience and this was really off-road. So once you get to the green sand beaches, you basically have two options. Either one, hike all the way out to the beaches, which I think is like a mile and a half through the sand, or two, you have a local give you a ride. With five kids, we decided on the latter and it was totally worth it. Guys, was today a good day so far? Yeah. Yeah, and it's not even over yet. Awesome. Volcano's planet that we get to call home. We are so blessed and I honestly owe a lot of this to my mom. Our journey to Hawaii was inspired by her. It was my way of it was my way of saying goodbye one last time to channel my grief 
and to be present with her, even though she wasn't actually well, there. It, is it just felt like in every landscape of blue water, every crashing wave and the sunrise and the sunset, she was there. Like I could feel her sitting next to me, just smiling from, from ear to ear, soaking up the incredible view. And it was really healing for me.